Hello everyone. Uh, for our next uh, video, we're going to look at how to draw little Benny here uh, in three stages, hopefully. Um, the first stage is, is an important one. It doesn't really, it's not the, the most exciting bit, but it's, it's, it's key because you, you need to make sure you, the drawing fits on the area you want to work in. Uh, so if you, if you map out just gently with a soft pencil the area you're working in and then we're going to look at the really simple silhouette there of Bennett and just get that so that it's within that area and we know we can describe the drawing a bit more detail after that so some very simple simple shapes just the, the outline really and also the negative shape so this this shape that helps if you're looking at that as well well there we are so that's fitting in the area the next stage would be to look at the proportions of the different parts of his of his head and shoulders um, when, when you draw in if you look at break things down into sh simple shapes so his head it's a circle there so I can try and get the proportion of his head with a just a simple doesn't have to be the best circle in the world as long as it's in proportion I think that's the key and then his nose, another circle there. Looks a little bit like Pepper Pig at the minute, but it'll all make sense shortly. So that's the main bit of the head and then the ears. So again, we've, we've near enough done that one. Nice little triangle there. And then this one's within the head. So whereabouts is it? Probably some construction lines there. We can go right in like that. Good. Bring that down a little bit. So that's the second stage. And the next stage, we're going to imagine it as a 3D object. So we need, we need to imagine there's a line down his forehead there and along his nose. So we're, we're sort of following the contours now by doing that. So it goes that way and then it's concave that way. Then we're looking at the direction of his eyes. So he's slightly tilted so there's an angle there. So we get that angle on with a, a line. That's good. And then we can start adding a bit more detail now, looking at where, how far back the eye is. So it may be about there. And then I need to look at the more detail for the contour of, of, of his head there and where the nose is. So So you can make the eyes construction lines like that and they diminish to a vanishing point over there and then the little mouth so again judging down ends about there and it's on a line with the bottom of his nose and then some more detail. So the eye's set back, it's within the skull, so it's 
got to imagine the surface of the eyelids are over overlapping over the top of the eyeball and this one we can't see much of it but you've still got to imagine that it's a, a little orb And you can just see the other upper lip there and then there's a little upside down V. I'm just going to just, just clean that up a little bit with a putty rubber. and then just embellish it a little bit just add the curves and the contours and little guidelines for tone as well when you, you paint it so it's quite dark there so I've just added a few little sketch marks just to remind me when I'm painting it it's a bit darker there and on the inside of the ear don't want too many pencil lines on a watercolour drawing, just enough to give you a little plan of action to work from. Whoops, it's a bit cross-eyed there, so just get rid of that. And again, so imagining circular cheekbone is over the top of, of the eye socket. So there's a contour there. That just reminds you about the paint to make it a bit darker there. And that'll do it really. That's enough for, for starting your painting with. Let's change that. Good, hopefully that helps uh, you to start your, your painting of Little Benny.